Hello lovelies, welcome back to Intuitive Tarot with me, Mama Paul. Today I'm going to be reading for my Sagittarius subscribers. I have saged, I'm just going to save, uh, sage my board just a little bit more. Remember to ground and protect yourself. This is for my Sagittarius subscribers, like I just said. This is for your sun. Wow, that's really going now. I'm hoping you can see this better being like closer to the camera. So yeah, this is for your sun, moon and rising. And um, oh my God, I can't talk. Why can't I talk? Right, you've said this loads of times. Why am I? I am so nervous. I will literally, I never get nervous for my readings. Well, I've never to channel anyway, and I've literally just got so, so nervous and really giggly. Okay. Okay, so this is for your sun, moon, and rising, and Venus. And if you're interested in a Sagittarius, why wouldn't you be in interested in an adventurous Sagittarius? Um, <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> this energy is crazy. Like, I literally, I literally feel like, like a giggly schoolgirl. Like that, like, and that's what I feel. Like, like you're in school, and the person that you've been crushing on walks in, and they just say hey to you, and you're like, oh, they just said hi to me. Like that's what I feel. Like I just feel like giggly and giddy. It's um, it's a nice energy to be in. Express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I never ever do this, um, but I'm gonna start off with my Romance Angels. I'm using my Oracle of the Fairies, my um, Tarot in Wonderland, I can't talk, Tarot in Wonderland, <laughs> oh God and Everyday Witch, and I'm also doing a competition where I'm giving away um, a, basically a tarot hamper, and inside is gonna be these tarot set, the Everyday Witch Tarot by Deborah Blake. It's one of my favorites. Um, I'll link everything down below what you need to do, and you can win that. Let me move all these out of the way before I start. Right. I feel so giggly. <laughs> right, right. Okay, I've been told to start off with these, so I'm gonna start off with these. I'm loving this energy. For you, um, Sagittarius people out there, there. <laughs> that are in this giddy energy. I just got a feeling that you want to come forward and you want to let somebody know how you feel about them but even though you've got lots of feelings and you're wanting to express yourself and tell them how much you feel you're also like nervous to express how you feel just got the energy the energy I'm <laughs> right you're gonna have to try and pull some of that oh my god you're gonna have to try and pull some of that energy away because I'm never gonna be able to do this for you. I'm gonna be giggling the whole time What is going on guys? I want to know what's going on. I want to, I don't know. 
I want to know what's going on your lines to make you so giddy. You're, you're lusting after to somebody. You're, you're definitely lusting after after somebody. I'm gonna first of all do my oh god romance angels cards. What messages do you have for our Sagittarius star signs? Remember, if you are a cross watcher, roles can be reversed. If I'm talking about you as your love interest, then the other side of the story makes more, more sense to you, then that's your story. You know your story more than I do. This is this is a general read, it's not a personal read. Somebody's nervous to come forward, I can feel it in the cards. Okay. Come on. Woo! Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Right, let me get another card. Because I've got express your love. Feel the energy just like push that out with soulmates. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal your past, you experience more love in your present. That's what this underrated love is about. Somebody sitting in a place where you you want to express your feelings, you want to tell somebody how you feel, but you're really scared to tell somebody how you feel because you don't want to be hurt. And that's why you're putting on this false act. Like, this really hard face, like, before I see you would have been vulnerable with this person, with your love interest. But the Sagittarius people that I'm talking to is like holding back and I just see somebody reaching out to you and you just want to like, oh my god, like tell them exactly how you feel. But you're just being like really reserved and you're just protecting yourself. But you need to release and forgive the, and heal the past because it's really, really not helping you. And it's making your current life very stressful. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Then I got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. Maybe that's why you're like, oh no, is it really? Is this really how I'm feeling? Like you're shocked about how you're feeling. I feel like somebody's surprised that they're, they're feeling the way they are. That's what I'm picking up. Right, now that I've done that, which I never ever do, let's get the tarot deck going, shall we? What's that? Seven swords. Right, I'm gonna shuffle one more time. But right at the top, your main energy is express your love. You're just, Trying to hide your feelings, which you don't need to. Whoa, what divine messages do we have for our Sagittarius subscribers, please? What divine messages do we have for our Sagittarius subscribers, please? What divine messages do we have for our Sagittarius subscribers? Just be told.
able to take the top card. And death at the bottom. So, does that go before there? Like that? Oh, it's the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Here. It goes there. Okay. Like that. Yeah? Okay. I'm sorry I had to like compare what they were saying. They went in that card to specifically go there. Let me find upcoming messages for my wonderful Sagittarius subscribers. can see why you did hold back or why you have been holding back I can see that I see I see right before we even get started I think that this is very much reconciliation If it isn't reconciliation, like I see it in our arguments, the five of wands is very much about a team of people, but it's just like people just unwilling to work together. It's like I'm right, you're wrong. No, I'm right, you're wrong. It's like arguing, not getting on. It's like there's too many cooks in the kitchen and they're about to make a spoiled broth. Do you know what I mean? It's just like not getting on, arguing like cats. And I think that was in your past, or a past relationship. I'm getting past, past relationship. Because that, that came to an end. I got, oh God, I got past relationship arguments coming to an end, the death of that relationship. But then I, but then I've also got, somebody came back into your life out of the blue. My mouth's just got really dry right in the minute, guys. <coughs> well, I'm gonna have to clear some of that energy. <coughs> <coughs> that's, I can literally, that's crazy. I literally just felt that you were just getting on with your life, you were just working, trying to reach your goals and somebody came into your life out of the blue, somebody reached out out of the blue. I just feel like somebody turned up very unexpectedly and you're like, whoa, where did you come from? Oh, I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, just leave that for him, just clear the energy a bit. I just feel when this person came back into your life, it kind of like swayed you a bit and you were like, okay, what are we meant to do now? And you went into this hermit mode and you kind of like really pulled back from this person, even though you know that this person is your soulmate and you've always wanted to be secretly in a relationship with this person. I 
I'm starting to get, oh my god, why is that energy so strong? It's like I feel giddy, like I feel like... Like a nervous, giggly, excited. There's... I think it's a boy, it's, it's, there's a woman and a, a young boy. I'll put this, the picture up so you can see it better. But it's either they turn up where you are at night or they reach out to you at night. I just see it as they were in despair and they all this person needed your help your love interest needed your help like your your love interest was very um vulnerable but i feel like you were also going through a hard time You were stressed, you were busy, you had your your own stuff going on. I feel like I'm talking to somebody that is really well respected, you know, this is like somebody that is like self-made, somebody that is really high up in their job, like a manager, a CEO. It's like people look up to you and they're honouring you for what you've done, what you've achieved. People admire you, you've got people underneath you that look up to you. Like you can hold yourself in high regard because of what you've achieved. But you, like deep down inside, I see you as this really vulnerable, kind, caring person, but you just have this hard shell because of what you've been through. And with some of you, you smoke. There's a dragon behind with smoke coming out of his nose. I've just seen some of you smoke. Um, I just feel like emotional, I feel upset all of a sudden and I think I'm just picking up on your energy. I'm picking up on a female energy but I'm also picking up on, I'm speaking to a male, a masculine. You're planning to You're planning for future, you're planning to move towards this person, whether it's in commitment, you know, like start off as friends and then building from there. But you're not just like planning for future, you're you're being productive and you're you're putting things in place so things can be sorted for in your future, whether it's finance, whether it's I don't know, like you're sorting out Paperwork, I just the paperwork. You've got to sort out the paperwork, I've just got told. And you've got one person that's really, really close to you. You're confiding in them about what you want to do. Or you're going to confide in them about what you want to do because you like have to talk to somebody about it because it's driving you insane you you know the knight of wands is he's about to travel and he's gonna go to he's gonna go through this gap in the mountains i'll put a picture up 
He's gonna go through the gap in the mountains. He doesn't know what's over the other side. He doesn't know if, I don't know, the dragon will kill him. I'm not saying your love interest is gonna kill you. I just I just heard what I said and then I was like, hmm, maybe I should explain that. Like, you're going on this new adventure and you're taking that leap of faith. You might not be able to put the wheels in motion right now, but I feel like what you're doing is you're putting all the luggage in your car to get ready for the wheels to be in motion and for you to move. That's what I feel like you're doing. You don't know what this journey is gonna provide for you and I feel like you're really scared about the what ifs, what if it doesn't work out, what if things don't go to plan, what if I, oh, okay. Cause you're manifesting in new. So some of you, you're manifesting in a past relationship. just seen that you've been you've got your eyes on the prize you can see that it's like coming into reality it's like music is like coming on the radio or when you're working like a song will come on and you'll be like oh my god that's how I feel about my love interest and the same thing is happening for your love interest they're like that is exactly how I feel about Sagittarius oh my god like, it's driving them crazy. Like, it's like, it's like when you think of your love interest, Sagittarius, when you think of your love interest, your love interest will all of a sudden be like sparked and they'll be like, oh, I'm thinking of Sagittarius. Oh, I'm thinking of Sagittarius. Hmm. Yeah. It's like, they just like go into a daze And they'll think about <laughs> we're not going there today. We're not doing that. we're not doing that today. <sighs> they thinking about holding you, they're thinking about kissing you, they're thinking about just having you in their arms, even if it's like doing really simple things like sitting down, watching a film together, having a tea or coffee together, it's just like being in your company, they're really like just got miss you so then see you know who you love you know who this is you've met this person before this is somebody that's been in your life it's this this definitely could be a reconciliation here because if you're missing them I just feel like it's just like electric it's very like um, it's like you two have like this sixth sense, it's like you don't even have to talk, you don't even have to like text each other, call each other, all you have to do is like think of the person and you are sending your love interest a message, it's like they get their pages on and they've been alerted, Sagittarius is thinking about me, or Sagittarius, you'll think about your love interest and your lo love interest will be like, Sagittarius is thinking about me. And even when you're thinking naughty, naughty, naughty yeah. thoughts. Sorry, the dog's doing lovely. Um, yeah, even when you're thinking naughty, naughty thoughts, they get alerted to that as well because I feel like some of you are having really naughty dreams. Sometimes they're the best dreams.
you're holding yourself in high regard and you know what you want in life now and you're really manifesting this person into your life you're going down this path you're listening to your gut you're listening to your heart you know you're following you're following your head but, but you're also like following your heart and and you know how much this person means to you and you're longing for their kiss and you're longing to be in their arms or you're longing for them to be in your arms and you don't know where this path's going to lead you but it, you're getting to the point now because you've been thinking about this for a while that you're like I, like fuck it I'm, I'm going down this path I don't care what happens, well you do care what happens, but you're like, I can't feel as strong as I, as I am right now for no reason. It's like the universe is talking to you through your gut and your heart and you're just gonna go down this path because deep down you know that what you're feeling can't be for nothing. For some of you I feel like you've loved this person for a really long time spent a lot of time outdoors together I just got you are really really creative and I feel you are going to do incredible things no matter what you do you're going to do incredible things no matter what you put your mind to but I'm getting this I'm just getting your re you're really really torn because you want to walk down this road, but then you're also like, yeah, but I just got a good thing here, and I've really worked hard, but then I, I really want to go down there. And I just feel like I'm being like pulled from side to side. But you're getting really, really frustrated, and you, you've gone into here at the moment to to like literally like make a list of like pros and cons of like going down this path or like pros and cons of like staying where you are because you want to take this leap of faith you want to have a whole new beginning with somebody i got the queen of cups this really nurturing, loving woman or oh, loving male, it could be, a, could be a, a masculine your love interest is so affectionate and so nurturing and I think you really really respect that in them I don't think you've been with anybody else like this person. It's like this This is the type of person that's always got a lasagna in the freezer or fridge. It's like, yeah, I've, I've, are you hungry? Oh, I've got something, let me warm you something up. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, like a proper mummy, like, sort of like oh, let me, let, me, let me sort something out for you. Like, so loving. And it's lush. It's proper lush. Just always thinking of others. They're doing like really, really incredible things for this world. Their like mission in life is to make this world a better place, even through like small gestures of like giving and yeah, they're just like a really kind, kind person. It's like I see this person in in a shop and they're paying for somebody else's shopping in front of them just because they saw that they were struggling with money or something and they were counting out their money and they're like I'll just pay for it don't worry do you know what I mean they've just like jumped ahead and paid for their shopping just because they wanted to because they're just genuinely a kind person and you're pulling each other in it's like, I can feel this, like, pull. I, I think your love interest knows that you're pulling them in and you're, you know your love interest is pulling you in. 
you feel like it's like you really have to fight with yourself not to message this person not to call this person because they like they're on your mind all the time when you're in work when you're at home when you're out doing your shopping i don't know when most of the day you have to like try and distract yourself not to think about this person and this person is just on your mind they see you online they see that you're looking good you see they're looking good they've they've changed up their look you've both been really working on yourselves whether it's whether it's like sorting out debts and paying off all your debts or really working on your health and your fitness you know I just feel like you've been really taking that time out to care for you and heal your heart and work on all your issues that you've gone through and I feel like it's really done wonders for you I feel like yes you are stressed in, in your environment where you are now, whether it's work or home. I feel like there is stress there. I do get, I am a bit anxious. And I do feel some of you are drinking or smoking to help you get through what you're going through at the moment. But I do feel like you're on the tail end of that. I feel like you're getting through. You're nearly at the end of that cycle because the Wheel of Fortune is here and I feel like there's big changes on the horizon because you're manifesting it in. I feel like you know that you can't do what you're doing for the rest of your life and you want to settle down. I think for a long time you tried to talk yourself out of settling down, I'm never going to find the right person for me. <laughs> I just got told the right person for you was always underneath your nose. I got the tower. This tower moment is happening because you're being stubborn or your love interest is being stubborn and you're holding yourselves back. How does my Sagittarius is the love interest if you have them? How does my Sagittarius is love interest? Feel about them. I'm madly love you. Mm -mm -mm. How does my Sagittarius loving dress feel about them? How does my Sagittarius loving dress feel about them? How does my Sagittarius loving dress feel about them? How does my Sagittarius loving dress? Shut up. Really? Whoa. What they like you like you what they're seeing. <laughs> they very much like you like you what they're seeing. Your person's coming in strong. Your person, your love interest, Sagittarius, knows exactly what they want. And what they want is you. They don't want anybody else. I feel like, I feel, I feel, I feel like your person has walked away from, they've closed the door on not just their, their past, um, but they've worked, they've worked, I can't even talk, Ugh. they've walked away from past trauma, they've walked away from their issues, everything that made them hold back before, they've been dealing with, they've been really working hard on themselves, really working hard, that's a really good sign Sagittarius, that your love interest is is holding themselves responsible they if you did if this is a past person this person is 
it's like some people don't like blame the other person it's easy to blame the other person you know you want you the first thing you want to do is like oh that was all my ex my ex is nasty I have nothing to do with it it was all them but you know yes that can happen um, I understand that I have been in relationships where it is more one-sided but I've also been in relationships where it is equal and you've both added to that pot of toxic toxicity where arguments do happen and then you don't communicate and then it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse you know I think I think all parties need to hold themselves responsible and admit that you was at fault because sometimes you are and sometimes we need to deal with that and that's okay that's okay we're not perfect we're all human we are all human and this person is dealing with it they're embarrassed for how they used to be and they're holding themselves responsible. It's amazing. <laughs> wow. This this person's gonna tell you. Once they once they I've got the eight and then the nine of cups. Are you kidding me? You just need one more cup and then you've got the ten of cups. This person's knows their worth, they know your worth, they hold you in such high regard. This person loves you unconditionally. This person's crazy about you. Sagittarius, you don't realise your love interest loves you just as much as you love them. They're lusting after you as much as you're lusting after them. All those times when this person just comes into your head and you're like, why am I thinking about this person so much for today? It's because they're thinking about you. My nan used to say to me when I was younger, a thought is a prayer. This person is coming in and as soon as they realize you feel for them how they feel for you, they're going to be open and honest with you. I think, don't think you're ever going to have to worry about this person's feelings because they're just going to wear their heart on a sleeve. You're always going to know that this person feels for you the way they do. You're not going to feel worried about this person's feelings. This person knows that you're anxious is that you're making this person anxious with your anxiety. Because you're holding back, this person's being triggered by you holding back. Because I only just started getting um, ones and ones are communication. I feel like you want to reach out, you want to talk to the person, but you're scared of doing it also. Final messages for my Sagittarius friends, please. Final messages for my Sagittarius friends, please. Final messages. They want particular cards. Final messages. <laughs> it's got giggly again. There's a certain picture of your love interest that you really like. You love their lips. One more card, please. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Just one more card. Okay, that's three more cards. 
Let's take them. So we started with this. Solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasure of those that wait silently during your quiet times. Theory spotting. It's time to go theory spotting. It's said that seeing is believing, but in fact, the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. You believe in this love. I think you've always believed in this love, but it just scared you. I think you knew that being in this relationship with this person was a higher level of commitment and that's what scared you. Find balance. The balance between work, rest, playtime and the work, oh my god, find balance between your work, rest and playtime and you will have more energy. Harmony and product productivity in your life. Take a power nap. I feel like you are really, really busy in your home life at work and you're doing like so much. It's like a season where it's like the guy feels too tired. Like I feel tired just picking up your energy. So I know you're doing a lot. But you need to find balance. Because if you don't find balance, you're literally going to be exhausted. And I think you are exhausted. Wish wisely. Your wishes... You use your wishes wisely to manifest your... Oh my... Why can't I talk? There is communication issues here. We both need to let that guard down. We both need to let that wall down because you're so scared of the what ifs. What if this does work? What if you've got anything to do with a Capricorn? Because I, I was saying this to Capricorn and I think Virgo. Did I say this to Virgo as well yesterday? There's definitely Capricorn. Is it Virgo? Well, whatever. Um, no, it was Capricorn. Capricorn. Maybe you've got um, your Capricorn rising or something like that. Um, I was saying to them, you know, think of like when you're in doubt and you're doubting about this or any, any situation, think about it as what if it does work out? What if this is going to be the best job or best love of my life? What if all my dreams come true? Think in a positive mindset, not a negative mindset. It will change your life. Come together. I just said you were coming together. Fairies like to be busy and and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. <laughs> I want to say I told you so, but I'm not going to say I told you so. <laughs> Tree wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute reveals insight and answers through the sound it makes. I think. I think you have been either watching tarot more often listening to your instincts more often, listening to music more often. One of you is definitely 
doing something where it's in public, whether it's on social media or I just see one of you is out there showing yourself. And you get a lot of wisdom from that. You're learning about your love interest through this. They're as crazy about you as you are about them. You have nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. And this was a beautiful reading and I really hope it helped you guys. Remember that I am giving away the every Witch from Europe, Everyday Witch by Deborah Blake. Um, I'm doing a tarot hamper that I'm giving away over the next couple of weeks, um, which will have this box of tarot cards. You'll get a book as well. This one's used. Um, I'm giving away a new one. And in here it will have all the meanings of the cards. Amazing. Um, yeah, giving that away and a few extra really nice goodies. And some, um, I've got some really nice incense sticks that I'm putting in there as well. So that's going to be really, really nice. Yeah, so I hope you really, really enjoyed. All you have to do is like, comment, share and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and you'll be in the channel winning i really hope you enjoyed thank you so much for your love and support on my channel it truly means the world um my subscribers and my views have gone up and it has been really really lovely talking to some of you as well so i hope you all have a wonderful day or evening whenever you're watching this take care lovelies remember may love and light guide you on your spiritual journey see you next time bye lovelies bye